Hey guys, welcome to a new project I want to start doing. I saw it since I was, uh, this is going to be my 100th video. I figured I would, you know, instead of just having it be a random episode of Mega Man 4, I'd actually start something that's really, really a game I really enjoyed when I was a kid. So, as you can see, it's very reminiscent of Zelda. From just his title screen, you can tell that, but also a lot of other things. I will register my name. Simple as that, and then we will start this off. It's very like a combination of like Zelda 2 and and uh, in the original Zelda, like, it's got the overworld and then stuff, like, towns and stuff on it like they did in Zelda 2. But when you get to the actual, like, dungeons, they're, you know, a top-down perspective. Like, like the original Zelda. And here we are in Coral Cola. There are always lots of different random, like, little... Joke names for the for the cities. Pig, oink oink, show me your ass. It's always some weird glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch or whether it's actually supposed to be programmed that way. But every time you talk to a pig, it'll just turn around and show you its ass. <laughs> yep, we have a doctor. We have a we have an uncle, Doctor J. You come from Americola. <laughs> All the islands here are named Cola. Something Cola. Yeah, I suppose I'll go meet the chief. This isn't one of the towns where you have to talk to everyone, so I don't know why I'm doing it. Or maybe it is you have to talk to him after this, but whatever. Shirtless guy. Okay, bad news. Okay, that's that's totally a normal thing that happens. Why am I the best hope? I'm a little kid. Um, sure, I'm 12. I guess I can help. <laughs> yeah, islands generally have yo-yos. Yeah. Totally doesn't make any sense. But okay. have to talk to everyone before they'll let you in the the door, but oh my not really alright, I believe that's everyone, so let's go yeah and we get creepy witch doctor lady ah see this bitch every time you die. It's a good enough deterrent to wanting to die for me, I think. Now we go into the first dungeon. And see, it's like an overhead, like a top-down perspective. And you use a yo-yo, which totally makes no sense how you're going to use a yo-yo as a weapon. Yeah, he say he's an ace pitcher, but if you threw it at high enough velocity as a pitcher would, it just, then you would just snap the frickin' string like a twig, and then you then it's useless. So, yeah. Totally does not work as a weapon. Later weapons make a lot more sense. That one totally doesn't, but I suppose I'll let it go. I didn't really think about it when I was a kid. I was just like, yo, yo, okay, whatever. And slugs, they're easy. They're, just, they're a joke. They're not even really an enemy. Considering you'd have to be 
dumb to actually get hit by one. They don't actually come after you or anything. They just kind of hang out. And as you can see, these little platforms, if you step on certain ones, they will do certain things. Like this one, let's hit the switch, it opens the door. There's much jumping in this game on Sonda, on the platforms. I always jump on like most things, just you never know when there's gonna be a secret thing. This is the first real enemy. Is this rat? He will actually track you down. Those stars you got, if you get five stars, like it counts up how many stars you have down there. And when you get when you collect your fifth star, it'll just give you another heart. So like, it'll just give you another heart if you happen to be, you know, down hearts. I mean, it'll still exhaust your star supply regardless. If you're getting that heart whether you need it or not, but if you do need it, then it's, it's nice, nice and useful. And jump down here. And again, it's just like Zelda, you beat it. You don't just get a heart, you do get heart containers, but you don't just get heart container from beating bosses. They're actually kind of just kind of hidden around places, which is interesting. Getting somewhat close to the boss here, because this isn't a very long dungeon. You can jump like one square, that's all you can jump. If I remember correctly, this is just a dead end, but I'll check it out anyways. Yup, that's... Keys. <laughs> no, obviously not keys, but they remind you of keys, because this is so much like Zelda. And he does have, like, secondary weapons. But they're not in, like, a... Like a sub-screen like they would be in Zelda. Oh, I missed one of the... These are all side screens. Derp. I forgot. I forgot that this one had the one where you have to go find one that breaks open up. No, I actually need another... Well, another star will give me... Fill my health back up, so. It's one of these. Probably one of the. Probably this one. No, it's probably the other one that the. It's a snail is on. Or it's this one. Hmm. I know it's on one of these. Oh, derp. It's just like, I don't know. He's gotta hit. It's tricky to kind of figure out how he is you're supposed to to get up onto certain things. You, you like miss certain ways to go. Normally I have this game down pretty well, but as I say with most things, it's been a while since I played this, so. Now your first sub weapon. Throw a little random fire. Die rat. Oh, he's coming at me. Okay. Oh, now you get this music. You know you're getting close to a boss. And you get snakes that are just like the snakes in Zelda. They see you, they're coming at you. I thought it was in that one, but it's actually over here. There's a secret. Oh, what? There is a way to open this fucking wall, but I guess it's over here. Give me more fire. And then that one over there opens that wall that I was just telling you about. So I knew there was a way to do it. You don't you don't know what happens when you hit that, but if you're smart, you just come over here and look and see that this is open. And it's a health potion. Yay. 
he does, he does actually, I said he doesn't have a sub-screen, but he, I mean, he does, but it's just, you pause, and you hit down, you know, and there's a couple items that go in there, but his, all of his sub-weapons pretty much stay in this main screen. Ah, knew that was going to happen, I don't know why I did that. Anyways, as with Mega Man and whatnot, I'm not going to abuse save states or anything. I will probably use them just for, you know, bosses and whatnot in case they're annoying. Just in case bosses, you know, do some nasty shit to me that I'm not expecting. Normally I'm pretty good because I, I've played this game numerous times. But some bosses are just a pain in the ass straight up, so, and here we are with the first boss. just throw the fire just because you have it, so you may as well. It's gonna disappear after this dungeon anyway, so you may as well use it. And he's done. You do have to be careful, because he will occasionally shoot out fire, and you have to not be standing there, or else you're gonna get hit by it. And the kind of morbid <laughs> giant snake bones back here. But hey, you know, such is life. Cut that out. But, yep, hit this switch, and we're out of here. I always like the music after you beat the boss, too. It's very nice and upbeat. Wow, you've done it. And we get points that matter in no way, shape, or form. <laughs> I still, it's like, just like Mega Man. Like, why are we, why do we have points? I don't know. And it's like an arbitrary amount, too. I'm not even sure it's, it follows any particular rhyme or reason of how many points you get. Not that it matters, because it doesn't, but, hey, it's Babu. Yup, I knew that. Yeah, and there's all kinds of freaking like, history facts. Granted, you have to know what's a history fact, but... Fourteen ninety-two, and then there's one later that's, I think it's 1776. I don't know. Kind of dumb, but you know, it, it's okay. Napcom. <laughs> he looks like almost identical to frickin' Rob. That's not an obvious reference. Yay, chapter two, dolphins. Then you get to kind of just chill out here on your your submarine. And a dolphin comes up, and he's just like, dolphin, dolphin. And apparently Rob can translate dolphin. Because he's boss like that. Sure. Good job, Rob. Way to know how to speak dolphin. That's totally a thing that happens. And there's, like, secret passages. You can see them if you watch closely enough. They have little... Well, you probably saw right there how there's a little weird little wateriness. This one doesn't have... Oh, it does have it. Okay, I was gonna say, that one didn't have it, but... Most of the time they do. Oh my, oh yeah, I gotta go around there and get that on the way to the dungeon. I think actually I'm supposed to go to the, the lighthouse first, so let's... Yeah, 
I think you go to the lighthouse and then you go to that little cabin over there. Hey, what's up, bro? Okay. You're staying away. Well, I guess you have to. You have to work. You assume you go to your home to your wife at night or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Hey, wife. Eh, it probably is. Or it isn't, but it happened, it'll happen to help us get there. And that bottle appears. <laughs> totally was not there a minute ago. And secret passage. Message in a bottle. <laughs> Yep, like I just said. Nope. How oh, that bottle got there. I don't know. He threw it out of the spaceship after he got abducted. Cause that seems legit. Now we go in here and tell Rob to put in the in to put the ID code in. And we become an actual submarine. Yay. And because we're pussies, we want that heart container. Go through the secret passage. And get it. Oh, I guess we did get actually get a, uh... The heart container. They just kind of, like, gave it to us. After beating the boss. Yeah, in fact, they gave us, like, two heart containers. <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't even notice that. I guess you do get them, you just don't collect them. These are just extra ones you can collect. Alright. Fair enough. Anyways, coming up here is the dungeon of the second area. So. I think we'll go ahead and do that next time, though. So. Thanks for watching this part of uh, Star Tropics. And uh, hopefully I'll have hundreds of more episodes. So, thanks for watching.